Congratulations. Lessons in Chemistry nominated. I mean, did you know, did it feel special when you were filming it on set? Did you know that this was something special? Yeah, it definitely did. I mean, I, I read the book and I knew it was, a, it was special from the get, but the whole team that was culminated was just a, it was a dream team of collaborators. Everyone was like very much wanted it to be a process, a mutually exclusive creative process, which is rare, especially on that scale and, and Apple and 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 Lee Eisenberg and Bree were all like, everyone was just so adamant about making it, you know, staying true to the book while also staying true to whatever was truthful in us at that moment in order to bring some breath and some like, some real life to it. What's your process when you get a script like this? Do you do you go immediately and read the book or do you want to just stick to what, what's been presented to you? If I've got the book, I mean, you're lucky to have a roadmap like that. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't disregard that. I have done stuff where, you know, it's like, a, uh, a movie repeat, uh, like I did Salem's Lot, and I intentionally didn't watch those beforehand. Um, I watched them after, just because I was like, I, that when you're when you're doing a, you know, you're playing somebody who's already played it on screen. I think that is, I didn't want, I wanted to stray away from replicating anything. You know, it's nice to see you here too. I don't know what's your schedule's like. I've just been reading all these headlines. You're off to do Thunderbolts. Is that happening? When do you leave for that? I am having fun in Venice beach in Santa Monica. Where are we? Santa Monica. Santa Monica. I'm, you know, I'm just going wherever the wind takes me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then tell me, you know, part of the independent spirit is like championing the work of others. And, and what's great about being here today is they celebrate so many people, yourself among them, across film and TV. Was there a performance, a film that you saw in this crop of nominees or even just this year that really jumped out to you and meant something to you? Oh, throughout the nominees of this year? Um, good question. I just on the plane watched Priscilla. I don't, I don't know if it's nominated, but yeah, yeah. And I worked with Kaylee. I thought she was magnetic, and I, and I, and I thought Jacob was fantastic and, and didn't, you know. That role is so, there's so much mythos surrounding it. I, I can't imagine how hard it must have been to like kind of like allow yourself the freedom to inject your own self into somebody who is, is so defined and he really did that and brought life into him and and I thought Kaylee just can't sing a, a false note. Kaylee's always delivers like the best work. I'm so excited to watch what she does. And she does it so young. I mean she's so she, Yeah, it's incredible. Sort of like you, you watch someone like you and you're like he was born to do this. She was born to do that. Do you when you see something like that, especially an actor like Jacob playing a real life person, does it inspire you to? I mean, because that's something that that comes with its own set of challenges. Is that something you want to do? Would do? I mean, that is one hell of an undertaking, and I, I really respect his his bravery. You know, that that is there's a lot against you. You know, and and you just have to. I imagine what he did was just kind of shut those off and just go tunnel vision and just be, do it for yourself and do it for the truth of the story. Yeah, I mean, I would love to play like a real, you know, love to, play, you know, evil Knievel, Bruce Springsteen. I don't know. I would, I would, I would be terrifying, but I'm all about chasing the terror. So. And then last question, what's the most indie thing you've had to do on a set? Like, is there what, either bootstraps kind of production what's like what's the most you've had to give up what's the hardest you've had to work I mean probably like you know getting the using the doing the boom you know going like I don't know getting the crafty like I, I did a lot of like shorts that's how I got my start with my, my buddy Graham Parks who's a great filmmaker and so that was just like no, nobody had like a set position everyone was doing everything and it's fun you get that's how you learn like what the whole organ how the whole organism works you know